Welcome back to Mason Talks. So today, I want to talk about how the Browns could still make the AFC playoffs. Right now, things aren't looking that great with the Browns, and it is going to take a lot of luck and a lot of perfect things playing out for the Browns to still make it to the wildcard round of the playoffs, but their hopes aren't dead, and there still is a scenario out there for the 6-5 and five Browns. But this entire thing starts with the Ravens this Sunday on Sunday Night Football. And that kind of leads to the first thing the Browns need to do to make the playoffs. They need to have Baker Mayfield as healthy as physically possible. Because I think that if Baker Mayfield can use these next couple of weeks to get healthy, then down the stretch, he could at least be a decent quarterback. And that might be all the Browns need to give the ball to Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, who both look like they're starting to get healthy for this home stretch of the season. And he might be able to do just enough to get the ball to your weapons and to win games. Baker Mayfield needs to be healthy in order for the Browns to win the game. Now, I think the best way to get Baker Mayfield as healthy as physically possible right now would be to bench him for this Sunday night game against the Ravens and then bring him back after the bye week, which of course would be the December 12th week 14 game against the Ravens at home. You would be going into that game likely with a six and six record unless Case Keenum pulled off a miracle and beat the Ravens at M&T Bank Stadium. But at least Baker Mayfield would be able to be healthier than he is right now because, of course, he's dealing with the torn labrum. But then he also has a bunch of other minor injuries like the, the, the foot injury, the heel injury. And those are some things that if he were to take two weeks off, he could possibly heal from and get better from. And I think this is somewhere that case or, uh, that Kevin Stefanski might need to step in and intervene because as we've seen from Baker Mayfield, he simply is refusing to take a week off or to let his body heal as much as he can at the moment. And... I think it's hindering the team. I mean, last week, the Browns almost lost to the Lions because Baker Mayfield couldn't hit any pass over like seven yards down the field. I think that you can get Baker Mayfield back to a point where he is relatively accurate and he's able to be a good game manager. I don't think you're going to get dynamic Baker Mayfield like we saw only once this year against the Kansas City Chiefs in week one, but I think you can get Baker Mayfield, the game manager who can at least not be just a train wreck every time he drops back to throw the ball. So the first thing the Browns need to do in order to to make the playoffs is they need to get Baker Mayfield healthy. And then I think the second thing, and this is this is one of the reasons why I'm still somewhat confident in the Browns chances, they need to go back to what they do best and that is ground and pound with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. Because both of them are looking like they're finally going to be healthy. Kareem Hunt and Jack Conklin are both back at practice this week. I don't think it's been confirmed whether or not they're going to play this Sunday. But they're back at practice, meaning they will be playing sometime in the near future. And if you can get those two guys going to the level that you had them going earlier this season... I think you can start to win some of these games that were maybe more questionable in the past few weeks. Like... I think if Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt are at full power, I think you can beat the Ravens at home. I think you could beat the Raiders at home. I think you could beat the Steelers at Heinz Field. I think you could go into week 18 and beat the Bengals at home. I think that if you have the powerhouse of your offense, which is Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt healthy, and if you're utilizing them like we've seen you do in the past, I think the Browns could win some of those games that maybe you're not as competent uh, you know, is with with just Baker Mayfield and, and Nick Chubb and Dearness Johnson. I think that if you have your duo back of Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, that makes your offense significantly better and it gives you a much better chance at, at, at getting to the playoffs. That is something Kevin Stefanski is going to have to focus on is getting the running game back to being the focal point of this offense. And then the third thing, and this is the biggest question, well, this is the second biggest question mark outside of Uh, Baker Mayfield the Browns defense can't put up any duds anymore I mean they can't just 
fall apart like they did against the New England Patriots. The Browns defense needs to go out and be aggressive. They need to blitz. They need to get into the backfield and pressure these quarterbacks. They have to make guys like Derek Carr make mistakes. They need to make guys like uh, Joe Burrow look completely inept like they did earlier this season. The Browns defense cannot take a week off. They can't just be bad inexplicably one le- uh, one week like we've seen them be. Like they were against the New England Patriots where just suddenly they were completely unable to stop Mac Jones for whatever reason. The Browns defense can't take a week off. They can't be bad. Miles Garrett needs to be an absolute stud. Denzel Ward and Greg, uh, Greg Newsom need to be forcing turnovers. They need to be stopping the run. You know, Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa, needs to be at least effective against Lamar Jackson in these coming uh, next couple of weeks. The Browns defense, and this stinks to say, but this is kind of where we're at with our record at this point in the season, the Browns defense needs to be perfect. They can't be just putting up horrendous games for no reason anymore. That can't happen. Joe Woods cannot allow that to happen. And, you know, if the Browns are able to do those things, if Baker can play well, if you can get back to running the football effectively, and if your defense can be really, really good, I think you could win in week 14 against the Ravens. I think you could beat the Raiders. I think you could beat the Steelers and the Bengals again. And if you do that, you finish with a record of 10 and 7. And depending on tiebreakers, depending on how some of these other teams like the Steelers or the Raiders or the Broncos or the Chargers finish the year down the stretch, depending on a couple of other circumstances outside of your control, that 10-7 record could place you in the AFC playoffs. That is the, the roadmap. That is the way. That is what the Browns need to focus on. And if they can do that, they can resurrect their season, put all of the, the garbage we've seen behind us, and make a playoff appearance for the second straight year. That's what the Browns need to do. Let me know in the comments, do you think they will be able to do it? Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.